famous Chinese bunkhouse. It was here where Chinese immigrant workers came from afar, hoping to start a new and abundant life here in Canada. They lived upstairs in bunks, they ate, they played, they worked very hard. Year this year. All right, and I expect you all to be working hard all summer, all right? You know the drill. Fish don't get into the cans, they're gonna rot. Fish rot, you lose your jobs. Hi, my name is Anna. I'm a Canada worker. I have two daughters and one son. It was hot, it was steamy. Everybody had a job. The faster you worked, the more you got paid. As uh, it says in my notes, you were paid by the can. And if you did not can a lot, you did not put a lot of money in your can, if you know what I mean. You know, I just need to work three more months to get back to home. I'm so excited. Oh, I just miss my mom so much. Has anyone been stealing oil? I swear we had twice as much yesterday. All right, I'm keeping my eyes on you. And we drink it every night. The boardwalk that we're going to continue walking on was also laid here. There were no sidewalks at the time. It was simply mud and muck. So you certainly, if you were a dainty lady, had to pull your skirts up so as not to get muddy as you walked through the streets. I used to work in this Britannic cannery. Oh yes, back then it was called cannery, not shipyard. This didn't even exist. That. It was just a flat ground where salmons were dumped in every day. It was so bountiful life until Hell's Gate landslide happened. They accidentally blasted one of the Rocky Mountains that blocked the gate. What happened? Salmons couldn't go up and down the stream to spawn. They all died. The salmon number diminished from 15 million to 800. There were 15 counters down this row, 14 counters closed. This one survived just because it turned into a shipyard. So I lost my job, basically. I'm unemployed. I'm looking for somewhere, one of the firms to hire me, hopefully, so I can feed my two daughters and one son. 